The Hesdalen lights are unexplained lights observed in a 7.5 mile long 12 km stretch of the Hesdalen Valley in rural central Norway. History and description The Hesdalen lights are of unknown origin. They appear both by day and by night, and seem to float through and above the valley. They are usually bright white, yellow, or red and can appear above and below the horizon. Duration of the phenomenon may be a few seconds to well over an hour. Sometimes the lights move with enormous speed, at other times they seem to sway slowly back and forth. On yet other occasions, they hover in mid-air. Unusual lights have been reported in the region since at least the 1930s. Especially high activity occurred between December 1981 and mid-1984, in which period the lights were being observed 15 to 20 times per week, attracting many overnight tourists who arrived in for a sighting. As of 2010, the number of observations has dwindled, with only 10 to 20 sightings made yearly. Topic. Research Since 1983, there has been ongoing scientific research, referred to as Project Hestalen, initiated by UFO Norge and UFO Sweden. This project was active as field investigations during 1983 to 1985. A group of students, engineers and journalists collaborated as The Triangle Project in 1997-1998 and recorded the lights in a pyramid shape that bounced up and down. In 1998, the Hestalen Automatic Measurement Station Hestalen AMS was set up in the valley to register and record the appearance of lights. Later, a program, named Embla, was initiated to bring together established scientists and students into researching these lights. Leading research institutions are Ostfold University College Norway and the Italian National Research Council. Topic. Hypotheses Despite the ongoing research, there is no convincing explanation for the phenomenon. However, there are numerous working hypotheses and even more speculations. One possible explanation attributes the phenomenon to an incompletely understood combustion involving hydrogen, oxygen, and sodium, which occurs in Hestalen because of the large deposits of scandium there. One recent hypothesis suggests that the lights are formed by a cluster of macroscopic Coulomb crystals in a plasma produced by the ionization of air and dust by alpha particles during radon decay in the dusty atmosphere. Several physical properties including oscillation, geometric structure, and light spectrum, observed in the Hesdalen lights HL, can be explained through a dust plasma model. Radon decay produces alpha particles responsible by helium emissions in HL spectrum and radioactive elements such as polonium. In 2004, Teodorani showed an occurrence where a higher level of radioactivity on rocks was detected near the area where a large light ball was reported. Computer simulations show that dust immersed in ionized gas can organize itself into double helixes like some occurrences of the Hesdalen lights. Dusty plasmas may also form in this structure. There have been some sightings positively identified as misperceptions of astronomical bodies, aircraft, car headlights, and mirages. In 2016, Norwegian scientist Christian Opdalid published an article evaluating superposition of cosmic M waves, or collisions of cosmic ray particles, as the source of the phenomena. Jada Minari of the Institute of Radio Astronomy in Medicina, Italy, has studied the Hesdalen site since 1996. He found that rocks in the valley are rich in zinc and iron on one side of the river running through it, and rich in copper on the other side. Minari then used rock samples from the site in Oslo to create a miniature valley and dunked them in river sediment. He found that electricity flowed between the two rocks and that this could light a lamp. Dr. Minari believes bubbles of ionized gas are created when sulfurous fumes from the river Hesia react with the humid air of the valley. The geology also forms electromagnetic field lines in the valley, which could explain why the orbs of light move around. Topic. Piezoelectricity 
Another hypothesis explains Hestalen lights as a product of piezoelectricity generated under specific rock strains, because many crystal rocks in Hestalen Valley include quartz grains which produce an intense charge density. In a 2011 paper, based on the dusty plasma theory of Hestalen lights, Gerson Piver and Carlton Taft suggested that piezoelectricity of quartz cannot explain a peculiar property assumed by the Hestalen lights phenomenon, the presence of geometrical structures in its center. Piver and Taft have shown a mechanism of light ball cluster formation in Hestalen lights by nonlinear interaction of ion acoustic and dusty acoustic waves with low frequency geoelectromagnetic waves in dusty plasmas. The theoretical velocity of ejected light balls is about 10,000 m per second, in good agreement with the observed velocity of some ejected light balls, estimated at 20,000 m per second. The central ball is white, while the ejected balls that are observed are always green in color. This is ascribed to radiation pressure produced by the interaction between very low frequency electromagnetic waves VLF and atmospheric ions present in the central white colored ball through ion acoustic waves. O plus 2 ions electronic transition B4 sigma minus GA4 pi U with green emission lines are probably the only ones transported by these waves. Electronic bands of O plus 2 ions occur in auroral spectra. The estimated temperature of Hestalen lights is about 5000 K at this temperature. The rate coefficients of dissociative recombination will be 10-8 CCS-1 for the oxygen ions, and 10-7 CCS-1 for the nitrogen ions. Thus, in the Hestalen lights plasma, the nitrogen ions will decompose N plus 2 plus E minus N plus N asterisk more rapidly than oxygen ions. Only ionic species are transported by ion acoustic waves. Therefore, oxygen ions will dominate in the ejected green light balls in Hestalen lights, presenting a negative band of O plus 2 with electronic transition B4 sigma minus GA4 pi U after ion acoustic wave formation. Piver and Taft presented a model for resolving the apparently contradictory spectrum observed in Hestalen lights. The spectrum is nearly flat on the top with steep sides, due to the effect of optical thickness on the Bremsstrahlung spectrum. At low frequency self-absorption modifies the spectrum to follow the Rayleigh genes part of the blackbody curve. Such a spectrum is typical of dense ionized gas. Additionally, the spectrum produced in the thermal Bremsstrahlung process is flat up to a cut-off frequency, new cut, and falls off exponentially at higher frequencies. This sequence of events forms the typical spectrum of Hestalen lights phenomenon when the atmosphere is clear, with no fog. According to the model, the spatial color distribution of luminous balls commonly observed in Hestalen lights phenomenon is produced by electrons accelerated by electric fields during rapid fracture of piezoelectric rocks under the ground. Topic. See also. Ball lightning Hestalen AMS Marfa lights Paulding light Willow the Wisp Street Elmo's fire Naga fireballs Notes <laughs> <laughs>